People sometimes tell me they think the laws are made more to protect the criminals than society. Look what happened in Lake Louise last week. A Mountie, experienced in the drug trade, sees a car driving too perfectly, and that gets his attention. I mean, this car doesn't even speed a little bit to pass a slow semi when lots of other cars are. And you know, police in Edmonton have told me that if someone is driving too perfectly, that in itself raises their suspicions. Well, the same thing with the Mountie. He pulled the car over, found on the back seat a kilo of cocaine. The case is thrown out of court because, the judge said, it was an unreasonable search. He had no lawful excuse to pull that car over. This law sounds ridiculous. I mean, if police find a kilo of coke, then charge the guy. If police made an error in procedure, then discipline them if we must put a note in their file or whatever it is. Don't just let the perp walk out of court laughing. Now, this has happened before, like when they found porn on a school computer, but in court discovered police did not permission from the school who owned the computer to open it. Are these laws written by lawyers for the benefit of other lawyers' criminal clients? Or are they safeguards that one day may protect you or me from an unreasonable search? Let me know what you think. I'm Bob Layton.